All right, guys, uh, welcome. This is uh, Top Producing Executive Sales Director. Can you guys hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up. Anybody? Thumbs up. Ooh, she gave me two thumbs up. I like that. All right, good. Um, so, guys, this is Top Producing Executive Sales Director, uh, Coach Kev. Uh, I'm glad you guys got a chance to join us. Uh, just to kind of recap, just so you guys know, we used to do the actual physical calls, uh, but the leaders came together and now to give you guys visuals because we have a hundred. Let me go ahead and mute these lines. We have a ton of people uh, that's on this webinar. And we all can say that majority of us are uh, visual learners. So guys, go ahead and go inside the chat and go ahead and represent what city and state you guys are, are chiming in from. And um, let me go ahead and give you that quick shout out. We're going to spend a couple of minutes doing that. I can't get everybody. Look, they tanned it up already. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to bring on these leaders. I'm over here in Davie, Florida. So that's about, uh, I would say, 20 minutes north of Miami. And uh, guys, uh, it, it's a little chilly here. I know it's, it's cold where some of you guys are at as well. But let me give out a, a, a few shout, out, shout outs. Uh, where we go? Hang on one second. Oh, they tanned it up. Oh man. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Mobile, Alabama. That's what I'm talking about. Chicago. What's that? Uh, Mickey Grave. Okay, got it. Uh, Keisha from Clarksville, uh, Tennessee. Rock Hill, South Cackalack. I know it's cold there. ATL. He said ATL shawty. All right, I like that. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay. Okay, Seattle, Washington. I know it's cold over there. Uh, Spencer, what's going on? Oklahoma, four five, I guess. Detroit, what's going on in the building? Um, Oakland, California, of course. Memphis, Tennessee. I love it. Tampa, Florida, what's going on, Marty? Um, Oceanside, California. Oh man, everybody from everywhere. East Coast, West Coast. That's what I'm talking about. What else we got? Georgia. Man, I gotta always shout out to Georgia, man. Georgia taking over, you know. Um, Dallas, Texas. We see you, Nikki. Jacksonville, Florida. What's going on? Las Vegas. Oh, I'm gonna see you in February. Oh, yes. Uh, where else we got? Um, Hollywood, Florida. Okay, you, you like a, a city over from me. That's what I'm talking about. St. Louis, that's what I'm talking about. Loganville, uh, Charlotte, what's going on? Arlington, Texas, what's going on? LA in the building. You iPhone user. I don't know your name, but you in the building. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Columbus, Ohio, what's going on? Boston in the building. Delaware, Philly, what's going on, Maddie? How you doing, Madeline? Toronto? Is that, is that right? All right. <laughs> Rosendale, New York. We see you. Baltimore, Maryland. What's going on, Kevin Joseph? Man, I see you tanning up in the group, man. Continue to do that, brother. What's going on, Shelby? Um, man, we, we, we got everybody from everywhere. Memphis again, Atlanta again. So, guys, wow. So, we got a lot of people here, guys, from everywhere. Go ahead and send out your last minute text messages to your team. You guys are in for a treat. Powerful, powerful lineup today. I got a chance to see these two. Uh, individuals that's going to be coming up. Well, I got a chance to see one of them uh, train this last Saturday, and we're going to get a chance to see another powerful leader, uh, Mr. Jabari. He's going to lay it all out for you guys, so you make sure you get your coffee, bring the dog, bring the cat, your aunt, your uncle, whoever, get them on this training, because this is not only going to help you, but this is also going to help your team, and um, just so you guys really understand what we're what we're doing right now, guys, where if you didn't know 2020 already started and i want you guys to really understand uh you're not employees i know some of you have jobs which is cool but i want you to put yourself as a as an entrepreneur as a business owner i really want you to understand that everything that you are doing in reference to sharpening your skill training your team training yourself getting yourself equipped for that next title you know, one thing that my mentor always told me is like, coach, if you want to go vice president, you need to already know what it takes to be an RVP, right? So if you guys want to go SD and you're a senior field trainer, you need to know what it takes to go SD as well as vice president. So guys, uh, I'm just, I'm just excited because there's no way we can do what we're doing without training. You know, I'm going to bring up to you guys a, a gentleman that's been ripping it up, man. 
Um, his name is Rod McKinnis. I hope you're on this webinar right now. Look, one of my teammates calling me right now. I guess they don't know we're training. <laughs> All right. So Mr. Rod McKinnis, he's actually coming up, guys. He He's from the Arizona Marketplace. He hit SD in record timing. I know he tore it out the frame if Alfred called me <laughs> and Alfred said, listen, I want you to let this this gentleman drop some jewels because he did some things and he really feel that um, everyone needs to know what he did. So, guys, I want you guys to hear a short testimonial uh, from Rod. He's going to break down to you guys in a short amount of time what he did and where he see uh, his business going within the next 90 to 120 days. So, without further ado, top producing uh, sales director, Mr. Rod McKinnis. Are you on the webinar, sir? I am, man. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for the intro. Appreciate it. You're welcome, man. <laughs> so let everybody know where you're from, why you got started, and, 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 and what did you do your first 30 days to help you position yourself to be in this, this title where you are and you're developing leaders simultaneously? Take it away, Rod. Absolutely. Well, thanks again. So I'm originally from Chicago, but I've been in Chandler, Arizona for the last 20 years and um, had an opportunity to work on a, 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 actually another business initiative with a business partner of mine. And uh, long story short, it required us to look for someone that could restore credit very quickly. And so I reached out to Tasha Harper and uh, just to inquire about her ability to help us out. And she invited me to a uh, presentation, which is the overview. And my business partner and I went to the overview. We got a chance to take a look at the presentation, and we were both just blown away. We didn't even realize that this opportunity even existed. So we're nudging each other throughout the entire presentation and just started laughing and, 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 and thinking that this could be an initiative all in itself. And so we um, we had a chance to, uh, to, to debrief a little bit afterwards. And then I went home tonight and started thinking, this can't be true. I, I, I don't believe what I just saw. So I had to come back to the presentation a second time just to make sure that I saw what I saw. And I, I took copious notes and asked some, some, some questions. And then uh, at the end, I asked Tasha if I could speak to some of the top producers in the organization. And she said, well, I can get you on with Billy Scott right now. And she called him right then and there. And so I'm, I'm talking to Billy, not really prepared for the conversation. But uh, I talked to Billy and just kind of listened to uh, him talk about the business. And I was even more fired up from that. So I, like any other leader would do, I, I went out and, and looked and, and tried to talk to as many people that I knew that was smarter than me and, and had to share this with them so that they can see what I saw. And uh, immediately people saw the vision. And then when I realized that there were 63 million people out here that have a credit score less than 600, to me, that's the natural market. That's the no-brainer. And to, to be able to have a business um, for, for 288 and just to enjoy the tax benefits alone from the business, the business uh, write-offs, it was just unbelievable to me. So, again, uh, I had a chance to just get out and just hustle with some of my, my close teammates. And, and, again, they saw the vision. They got fired up, and then they started sharing the vision with everybody else. So I a small group of humble hustlers. We're out here trying to just extend the reach to get to as many of the 63 million as we possibly can. Well, you know, you know, you just, you, you, you gave a lot. And I really want people to understand what, what the young lady named who Tasha, that's, that's, that's who you got connected with at the beginning. Tasha Harper, the new oh. regional sales director. Top producing regional sales director. But, but I want, I want, I want everybody to understand what Tasha did. Tasha removed herself out of the way, right? And if she got you on the phone with her mentor, right? A lot of us are trying to do that, not realizing we have a, 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 a PS3 system. She piqued your interest, right? She showed you the overview, right? And then she moved forward and got you on the phone with a three-way call. So that's, 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 that's duplicatable. So, Rod, you know, I have no doubt in my mind you're definitely going to be a top producing vice president. You're coming out of the gate uh, doing it the right way. Um, in this webinar, I'm, I'm sure you have your actual team on this webinar training right now so they can also take uh, some, 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 some jewels and some nuggets from the top producing uh, leaders that's going to be on here laying it out. Man, I appreciate you, man, for just dropping those jewels and just continue to build, be resilient. 
And I know you guys are humble, but you know, at the end of the day, you, you're part of some great leadership because Billy, St Billy Scott don't stop. You know what I'm saying? So keep that going, keep that energy going. And we appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. Wow. Guys, like it's, you know, humans make this so difficult. You know, if we just follow this system and I always tell people success is not for the chosen few, but for the few who choose. And you have to make sure you're positioning not only yourself, but also position your team. But you got to make a decision. Uh, Rod decided to win. As he was nudging his homeboys, they were laughing because they knew they were going to tear this up. But he also understood the importance of following the simple system. In real estate, they got a system. You go to McDonald's, they got a system. You go to uh, Dunkin' Donuts, they have a system. So if we follow this system, it will be a game over. But anyway, guys. I'm going to go ahead and move myself out of the way uh, to bring on the Empress. <laughs> you know, um, I got a lot of respect for this lady, man. Um, every time we get a chance to see her, uh, she just makes it so, so simple. And she gives you the confidence you need. And she shows you, just like a coach, you can do this. Stop overthinking it. Just follow what I'm telling you to do. And execute. Fumble, but get it done. And she will infuse you with anything you allow her to fuse you with as long as you accept it. And when you have leaders like this, you have to do whatever it takes to get them in front of uh, her because she's going to do and tell your team some of the things you've probably been telling them. But you got to get yourself out of the way. Why? She's documented. She's what you call a top producing executive vice president with the company. So what does that mean? 500000 in business volume every 30 days. That's a lot. All that means is she helped a lot of people. She had multiple leaders within her team. She's a powerful lady, man. She's, uh, I don't know what she, you level 10 in the R&R club? I don't know. Uh, but she's doing whatever it takes, not only to help herself. She got the car allowance. She got the bonus. And then here's the crazy thing. Her team is duplicated. I was speaking to uh, Natalia Hall uh, a couple of months ago. I'm on a team call with her. And I said, she sounds like Alyssa. I found out that's Alyssa's agent. That's her team. Makes sense. So, guys, you guys can have that same feeling. But you got to take action. Because she's not going to come to everyone's home and do this for every single person. So, guys, don't take her time lightly. If you guys are working directly with Alyssa and her team, please. Realize that she's the empress of credit. I know I just put that title on her. Some of y'all gonna hate me, but y'all better put some respect on Miss Barr's name. When we was at this Friday train, I'm looking for Miss Barr. I'm like, what? Where's the list? Okay, there she go. All right, that's all we need. We got her there. We Gucci. So guys, at the end of the day, man, I just get excited. So when Alfred told me I was hosting this, I said, who's who, who's training? Oh, Jabari and Alyssa. Oh, I'm there. They, I'm, I'm on their team too. Shoot, I'm signed up. So, guys, I really, really, really want you guys to understand where we are in this moment. 2020 has started already. She's about to lay out the groundwork to give you guys the tools that you need to push yourself to close out this volume month. But at the end of the day, get you to international, which is convention in February, so your entire team can explode. So, I'm going to go ahead and get myself out of the way. Uh, to introduce to you guys, uh, a powerful lady. Uh, I, I don't even know what the, uh, Layla, she, Layla Ali don't got nothing on Miss Alyssa Barnes. Toe to toe, she'll, it, it'll be over. Top producing executive vice president, Miss Alyssa Barnes. Are you on the training, madam? I am. Can you hear me okay, Kat? Man, I can hear you. I can see you smile. I guess you like my Ali, so you can take it away, madam. I don't know if I can come behind that. That was such a powerful introduction. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you and your team is doing some awesome work out there. You got the real estate industry on lock out there. I'm like, okay, just go to his meeting. Just do what he tells you to do and make it work. So, guys, just really excited tonight. I mean, we're in the second week of the five-week volume month. And this month is really a game changer for a lot of you that are really, you know, talking yourself out of talking to people and getting to the next level. Don't overthink it. I want, I want to tell you what season we're in. We're in a happy season. We're in a happy spending season. See, people can find money for Tonka trucks and trains and Cabbage Patch and Barbie dolls and all of the new toys that's out right now. 
But I think if we start marketing and we're putting our business out there and letting them know, before you go get that Tonka truck, let's visit your credit scores. See, you got to understand that people are going to buy Christmas gifts and they're going to pull from their 401ks and they're going to pull from their, their hidden savings banks and their emergency funds to go make their family happy for a couple of hours on December on 25th, only to go into January trying to identify how they're going to pay for the overspending that they did. This is the perfect time for them to add a business to their actual resume. So these are the conversations that you definitely want to have with individuals as you're promoting your pages, as you're launching your business. And what we're going to discuss tonight is how to properly launch your business. A little bit about myself, a 490 credit score um, helped me find this business. I actually found my mentor on Baller Alert. That would be Mr. Alfred Nixon. And when I saw it, I saw at the time he called himself Credit King. And I was like, that is a very strong title. And that's a very strong title that I need in my life. <laughs> because with the 490 credit score, we can agree that I can get approved for anything. And, you know, quite naturally, guys, I want you guys to understand something that credit does not discriminate. It sneaks into everybody's window and it controls your whole life. So everyone that you talk to, you should just be dropping nuggets about credit, dropping nuggets about what's happening in today's society. When I actually found it, though, I didn't even know that all of my friends needed services. And I'm always very transparent about that because quite naturally, like myself, a lot of you probably think that you're the only friend in your friend group with bad credit. But one of the things I want you guys to understand is credit is that elephant in the room that nobody talks about, but everybody tiptoes around. It's a huge factor that really impacts everyone. So that's why, regardless of the Gucci bags, regardless of the Mercedes Benz truck, whatever it is that you see on them that impress you and give you the impression that they have a lot of money and life is great for them, you still want to communicate with them. Let me tell you why. 68 million Americans have less than a 750 credit score today. And 80% of America is living paycheck to paycheck. We are the solution. You purchased an actual business that can solve so many people's problems. And I'm going to show you today how to launch your business. And that's very important. So what I want you to do is as you're writing your notes and you're trying to identify what just happened, what did I just do, what did I just get myself into, you just became a CEO, right? You're a CEO. You are a CEO of your own business. And what do CEOs do? They launch and they market. The first thing you got to do is decide who you are going to attract. Who's your audience? Let's just talk about it. Who's your audience? What's the base age of a person that can partner with us in financial education services and UCES? 18 years old. Absolutely, Mikey. 18 years old. So you want to start at 18 years old until death do us apart, right? Because everyone you know knows someone. So that's where you want to start. So when you're marketing, you want to identify, okay, if they can sign up with us at the age of 18 years old, then what should I be doing? Who should I be catering my business to? Who should I be catering the services to? Who needs us, right? One of the things that I have my team doing this actual week, guys, is we're promoting in our backyard. And let me tell you why. And I'm going to go quickly, right? Because I want this to make sense, but I want to keep the excitement on the call. We're promoting in our backyard. And what that means is, as we're promoting our business on social media, as we're starting our brand on social media, we're leveraging our zip code. We're leveraging our state, our neighboring zip code, our neighboring counties. See, what we know to be true is if you launch properly in your backyard, everyone you know in your warm market, everybody in your phone, in your backyard, your backyard have the capabilities of bringing all of the 50 states back to you. I'm going to say that again. If you launch properly in your backyard, your backyard has the capability of bringing all of the 50 states back to you. For instance, my neighbor may know someone in New Orleans, and she may know someone in St. Louis. She may know someone in Arizona. She may know someone in New Mexico. She may know someone in Hawaii that I don't know. So if I go to her house, show her what I'm doing, show her how I'm able to work from home, she reach out to her contacts, she's going to bring them back to me. Does that make sense? If it does, drop me some ones in the chat. So the first thing, guys, you want to do is invite and market 
your business. You want to go in your phone and say, hey, let me ask you a question. How many people do you know with less than a 750 credit score? How many people do you know that's living paycheck to paycheck that's looking for additional income? We don't need your time. We need your contacts. I want you to make sure you tell people that because the first thing that they're going to tell you when they're trying to push you away is, I don't know if I have time for anything else. You know what? I understand that because when I looked at this, I didn't have time either. But what I need from you is who do you know? I need your contacts. And if you give me your contacts, I'm going to show you how we can create more time for you. Does that make sense? If so, give me some ones in the chat. I'm getting ready to share a seven-step system that we use in our organization from time to time. And I want you guys to see this because it's very important. Now, what you're going to see is it says invite and market using the launch scripts, the text message script, off and online social media strategy and trial run. I want you guys to understand, I know a lot of you already know what a trial run is, but for those of you that do not know, it is when you find individuals on Facebook and social media that may want to partner with you guys that may not have the money right now, but they do have a social media platform. So you can give them a launch flyer to actually put on their page, tag the minimum, a minimum of you people tag everyone because you wanted to go viral as they're getting info 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 help me please contact me you're going to respond to those individuals and you're going to get back with the person that actually posted on your behalf and let them know how many people want to get started and how much money they can make so you definitely want to launch your business you want to launch it on social media you want to drop that you want to send the text messages hey hey megan let me ask you a question how many people do you know with less than a 750 credit score or those that may be looking to earn income from home part-time? Now, I'm going to tell you why we say part-time. Because there are so many people that actually love what they do. So one of the things that we do is we don't sell them the big picture. We're going to let convention do that. We're going to show them how they can do this business part-time, earn at least from three to $500 a week. You want to keep it common because you want to talk to the masses. You, want to, you don't want to sell them $1,500 a week. You don't want to tell them $2,000 a week. You want to keep it very common, three to $500 a week. That could possibly be $2,000 in your household. How many people do you know that could definitely use an additional $1,200 to $2,000 a month in their household? They're going to say me, right? And then you want to expose what it is we have to offer. Guys, when you're trying to identify exactly what we're exposing, it is the common denominator between a client and a consultant in this our protection plan membership, right? And what I always tell my team is you need to identify the three things, three to four things you like about the protection plan membership. Because if you can identify and study what you like and create a one-liner on those things, guess what? You just became the expert in this industry to your prospect. But the minute you cannot have that conversation and exude confidence in your conversation, you lose. So it's very important when you get started, guys. You want to go ahead and promote what you're doing because you want to have an influx of people who are already looking at you while you're learning your three things in the protection plan membership. Then when they start asking you questions, you want to leverage the scripts that your mentors gave you to keep their interest in the actual conversation. And when you get them on the line, you should be texting them the actual protection plan membership and telling them the three things you like about the protection plan membership. I'll give you guys an example. Hey, uh, Rod. Hey, Rod. Listen, when I got started with this actual business, I had a 490 credit score and I really couldn't get approved with anything, but I was really attracted to the protection plan membership because not only when I came in, I had a 490 credit score, but not only were they going to help me with my credit, they were actually going to show me how to build positive lines of credit. And that was a missing piece for me. But not only that, this company was going to show me how to be exactly what they are and that's get free. But not only that, they were going to show me how to add to my network. Is this something that you think that would add value to your life? You always want to add, tell them what you like, then ask them would any of those things add value to their life. They're going to answer the question. Now, when you get the response, as soon as you get the response, guys, you want to open up for questions. What questions do you have in reference to, to the information I shared with you? In reference to what was in the script? In reference to the protection plan membership? Quite naturally, they're going to ask you questions that pertains to their personal credit, their personal file, their income, how fast, 
Can I make this for how long is it going to take that to come off of my credit report? You want, you don't answer. You want to get the professional on the line. This is when you move yourself out of the way and you want to get the professional on the line. And what you're going to say is, hold on, let me get that answer for you. Now, what should be happening at this point is you should have your mentor ready to go ahead and pick up because you should be texting them saying, hey, I got Miss Alyssa on the line. She's really interested in being a consultant. She wants to partner with us. She got a 490 credit score, but she saw the value in the protection plan membership and she identified that a lot of the stuff that it had in it, she didn't have. I really think she wanted to be a consultant. You want to bring your mentor on the line, edify your mentor, introduce your mentor to this person and mute your line. Now your mentor's job is to get the response. Your mentor's job is to identify if they want to be a client or a consultant and when they want to start. Our job is to make certain that they get enrolled in your business. And when they give a date, if it's today, if it's tomorrow, if it's next Friday, your job now is to put this information in your cell phone, on your calendar, and make certain that you call this individual on that date so that you could do number four, get them enrolled. Again, number one, promote your business. See, when you become a CEO, you have to identify who needs the services and you have to put what you have to offer in front of them. Then you want to expose it. You want to expose exactly what it is. When they get it on the line with you, you want to definitely tell them why you became a consultant. You want to definitely tell them what you like about the protection plan membership. You definitely now are ready to get a response because you're going to get their questions answered, leveraging your actual mentor. And when your mentor closes the deal for you guys, then you're going to enroll them. And then it starts back over for them. They're going to promote, expose, get a response, enroll services. Now we got to get started the right way. And then we're going to go to get trained. Now, I know this document looks really, really, really familiar with you. But what I know to be true is that a lot of people have not completed that document. Because for some reason, it seems to be very intimidating to an individual to actually have to actually say, I'm going to do this. But this right here, ignoring this document is a reason why a lot of you don't have layers of success in your organization. And I can be very honest and transparent with you. I can't say that I have a perfect organization because I know a lot of the actual agents in the business have not done this because even my agents in my backyard have not done this. We had a workshop um, last Sunday and we had to take time and reset. We had to reset our businesses because this was intimidating to them. And what I did was I asked them, why did you do the business? I just went around the room. Why did you do the business? Some people said financial freedom. Some people said to pay off their student loans. Some people said they want to quit their jobs. They didn't even realize what I was doing. I was making it so much more acceptable to be able to do this. Then they completed that portion. So guys, the first question is, why did you do this business? I did it because my mother was in the hospital at the time from a house fire. I could not do my philanthropy efforts and travel. My children were staying with my girlfriend, so I was far from them and I was commuting a lot. I needed to be able to take care of my mom, make certain that she's never in a house again, partially paralyzed, in the event that another, another fire happened, she will never get burned again. That was my why. And to make certain that my son didn't have student loans and they did not have to go and work for anyone if they did not want to. I wanted them to be entrepreneurs and I wanted to leave a legacy for my children. See, what you guys don't have to understand is very important that you fill out this document because I can assure you after three years, my why changed. See, now I'm doing it because I want to purchase more real estate. So I want to position myself every month to get more real estate to add more to add to my net worth. So if you fill it out the first time, as you grow in this business, you'll be able to identify and see on paper how small your why was at first and how it gradually grows as you grow with the business. Then secondly, when are you going to have a party? A lot of people are like, who should I invite to the party? I don't know anyone. I, I don't know. Who would you invite to your wedding? Who would you invite to your baby shower? Who would you invite to your 50th anniversary? Who would you invite to that special time in your life that you want to share with everyone? That is who you invite to your launch party. Well, suppose they don't live where I live. Then have a virtual PDR, a virtual launch party. I can assure you that if you send a text message to your mentor and say, hey, 
I had an in-home party with about 15 people, but I don't know what to do. If I plug my computer up to my television, would you get on a Zoom and do this presentation? I can assure you they're going to say yes, because I said yes. I had a young man in our organization, guys, in Dallas, Texas. He had about 10 people in his living room. And I got on the, my actual Zoom. He turned his television on, and I appeared, and I went over the overview. That accounts as a launch party. So you don't want to talk yourself out of exposing your business. When are you going to have your launch party? Is it going to be an in-home party or a virtual party? Both of those are equivalent. They're just as important, but you have to have that. Now, let's talk. What are you going to say? Hey, Megan, I only have a minute, but I just partnered with some very successful people, influencers, who's launching a huge movement, and I thought about you. Do you know anyone with less than perfect credit? Or are you open to extra money if it didn't interfere with what you're currently doing now? See, the beautiful thing about this document is you don't have to think. We've done all the thinking for you. All you have to do is copy exactly what this says, text it out, email it out, call someone and read it, and it's been done. Now, the only thing that's missing is it coming out of your voice into someone else's ear so they can tell you when they can actually you know, come to your launch party. Now, one of the things I definitely recommend you doing is quite naturally, people always have something to do. We can agree because we're busy, right? So why don't you have three dates for a launch party and you give them three dates to choose from and then they tell you which date works for them and you let your mentors know exactly which dates these people are going to appear so they can put that on their calendar. You can have it on your calendar to get you're having a lot of baby. Do you need me to? Let's see. Yeah, I got it. Okay, got it. Sorry, guys. Now, this is very important information, guys. You need to know, one of the things I share with my team, it is very important that you know information about yourself and your business. When did you get started? A lot of people, if you ask them when did they get started, they don't know. I got started J July 15, 2016. When did you start the business? What is your agent ID? What is your username? Look in your business back office and you'll see all of this information and you want to put it out there. What is your website name? What is your protection plan membership site name? What is your upline sales director name? Because see, this is important because, and what is their number? Because when you do this and you have all of these people, you want to contact these people immediately because there's no better feeling than a business partner tap rooting up in the organization. I love when my new agents in our organization, no matter what leader brings them in, contact me. I love being accessible to them, helping them grow, because it shows consistency in our organization that we can, we're here to help you. You want to know who your upline vice president is. You want to know who your upline vice president's phone number is. You need to know these things. And if there's a reason why you cannot get in contact with your sales director, I can assure you that your vice president can. So it's very important that you know these things. Your goals. Guys, stop being afraid to talk about how much money you need. If you cannot communicate about the amount of money you need, then you're not going to go anywhere. You have to have a vision. You have to ha be able to tell yourself, what is your earning goal? My first year, I said I wanted to make $100,000. My first year, I made $100,000. What do you want to earn in this business? Because if you don't have a goal that you're trying to see and reach and, and, and get to, you're not going to go anywhere because you cannot even have that conversation. In order to make $5,000 by December 31st, what do you need to earn every week? Right? How many weeks do we have to December 31st? I think four, including this one. So if you're going to make $5,000, what is that, Twelve fifty dollars per week? So you want to put $1,250 here per week. What's that goal date? Put it down. Now you have a goal and you have something to go to. Now, how are you going to do that? Your first goal is to go to what we call field trainer. See, if you really take the time to look at this, guys, you'll see that the whole game plan has already been made for you. All you have to do is fill in the blanks. That's it. Fill in the blanks with your why, who you're going to invite who your upline is, what your goals are, 
how are you going to hit field training? See, when I came into the business, my first day in the business, I got seven business partners, which gave me an opportunity to get 400 in volume times seven. Seven business partners was huge. I remember calling my mentor the next morning. I sent him a text message and I said, what's next? He said, what's next? Do that again. <laughs> and I did it again from the hospital with my mom. And then I said, what's next? He said, what's next? I need you to get to Atlanta to a training, a live training. I made that happen. I didn't come into this business with any excuses. Everything that Alfred asked me to do, I got it done. He knew I was serious. And I gave him the disclaimer up front. I said, listen, I'm not coming to play. I'm serious. Get it done. Guys, if you get three customers at 200 in volume per customer, 200 times three is 600 in volume. See, the first 72 hours here, you need to achieve what we call field training. And why you need to achieve that is for several reasons. The first reason is when you purchase your franchise, guys, for $288, our first goal is to ensure that you're going to get your money back, right? And if you sign up two agents and three clients, you can easily make $500 in your first 72 hours. Because as a new business partner, when you sign up a business partner, your earnings is $100 per business partner. And of course, when you sign up a client for $188, the $100 goes to you and the $88 goes to corporate office. And of course, $2 of that $88 goes to our YFL program to support our youth financial literacy program. So we definitely want to first ensure that we get you your investment back. No one has $288 to waste. We don't have that to waste. And we're with a company that'll get it right back to us. That's a no-brainer. If you achieve your five, you get $100 a person. Not only that, you automatically get a raise because now you position yourself to go from making $100 a person to $160 a person. That's huge. How many of you today get a $60 raise in your corporate job? Give me some ones in the chat. I would love to see. I want to see who you are. How many of you, your raise is $60? What does that look like? But here, as soon as you achieve one title over, you earn a $60 raise. You definitely want to do that. And then last but not least, last but not least, you don't ever have to pay a monthly bill. See, this isn't something you bought into where it's a new bill. This is supposed to eliminate your bills. And that's the problem. And that's what's really important about your goals. The first thing you guys need to learn how to do is accept whatever it is in front of you. If you have bad credit when you guys started, accept it. Because guess what? You've done something that we're still trying to get 68 million Americans to do. Guess what that is? Make a commitment. Make a decision. You've already done that. So you're already a step ahead. Now, we need to make certain that we're going to help you eliminate something. Write down tonight, what is the highest bill you pay every month out of, the, out of your checks, out of your current finances? What is the most expensive expense that you pay? That's the first thing we need to eliminate. And when we do that, now we're able to create a plan of action on how we're going to do that based on where you are in the protection plan membership. Does that make sense, guys? Give me some ones in the chat. Now, what's really cool about this is, again, it's already been done for you. As you can see here, Facebook, we're going to peak some interest. Who needs to urgently improve their credit score? Comment, I do for more information. Urgent, urgently means now, like right now. Who urgently needs to improve their credit score? And you should be tagging 50 to 100 people. Have you all ever gotten a tag to a party or something you knew absolutely nothing about on your Facebook page? Then everybody that has tagged you or have tried to tag you in the past 30 days, you need to tag all of them back. And this needs to go extremely viral. And then for those that are very interested, but they don't have the money yet. See, as a consultant, you actually get to actually charge three different prices. You have 188, you get the 100, you have 138, you get the 50 corporate office, get the remains, and then you have 89, which goes directly to corporate office, which means you waive your initial commission, 
But let me tell you what you can do. So for that person that says, Alyssa, I really need, I urgently need my credit restore, but I just don't have the 188 right now. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Massey, Mr. Jack Chapman. I understand that it's a sense of urgency because you have goals right now that you want to achieve, but you don't have the 188. And that, that's understandable. Let me ask you a question. If I give you a flyer and put it on and ask you to put it on your page, will you be willing to tag 100 individuals in exchange for me paying your $100 and you just paying your 80 and 80? Would you be willing to do that? If they say yes, now they have positioned themselves to give you more leads. So sometimes you have to stop chasing the $100 in, in order to get more leads. So sometimes you may want to ask that, guys. I'll say it again. Christy, hey, I know you want to get your credit restored. I understand you, you have a goal you need to meet. You want to get a house by May. It's already November. So we're definitely going to need to go ahead and get you started. However, you did share with me that you don't have the 188. So I'm going to give you this flyer. Are you willing to actually tag 50 to 100 people on your Facebook, including myself, and in exchange, I'll pay the 100 and you just pay the 88 to get started. Are you willing to do that? If she say yes, go for it. Because now she just brought you more business, guys. Now, let's talk about your list. See, this is also intimidating. Why are you so afraid to create a list, right? What is so scary about the list? Go in your phone. The last person that texts you and say you want to go out, your hairstylist. Put them on the list. The person that washed your car, put them on the list. The person that always make your coffee at Starbucks, put them on the list. The person that always asks you to go with them to do charity work, put them on the list. The person that you shop with at your favorite stores and you get them permission, put them on the list. Your favorite server, put them on your list. Your mom, your dad. Let me tell you, you gotta have a very serious, you know those conversations that your parents have with you and they say, come here, sit down, we need to talk. The ones that make your heart beat really fast, make you scared. See, that's the, you need to reverse it now. Come here. We need to talk. I do not fault you, mom, for not teaching me everything you knew about financial literacy, or maybe you did. But now I have an opportunity to change the trajectory of our entire family. And I really, if nothing else you've ever done, this may be the last thing that I'm going to ask you to do for me as an adult. But it is imperative that you partner with me and you spend 90 days helping me grow this business. I need a list of everyone you've ever worked with, everyone you've ever partied with, everyone you've ever worshipped with, everyone you've ever shopped with. I don't care if you don't like them. Give me the list. Let's find their number. Because we're getting ready to launch a business for you. And we're going to make certain that you can retire. And you need to give her a deadline. In fact, you should ask her, what is the date you don't want to go back to work? That is the date that I'm going to walk you out of here, if not before. You need to have a very serious conversation with your mom, your dad, your brother, and your sisters. See, what you guys need to understand is this. Your family members, and I share this with my team, they know every mistake you made. They know the boyfriend or the girlfriend you brought home that was trash, right? They know the mistake you made when you invested money in whatever you invested in and it didn't work. They know every mistake you made, so they judge you by that. But if you say, sit down, let's talk, and you have that conversation, and they say, tell me, what, what is it that you're doing? Call your mentor. That's it. We're ready to close those deals. Call your mentor because if they hear you say, I have my mom on the line, I've already explained it to her exactly what I'm doing, but I wanted to introduce her to you or have my dad to you so that they can hear exactly what you told me. So they can believe exactly where we're going and where this has taken you. Then your family is willing to work. But quite naturally, guys, our family members do not partner with us because we take it as a joke. We kind of feel like because it's our family members, they're obligated to partner with us, but we need to really treat them like business partners too. Who's guilty? Give me some ones in the chat. So 
you see here, who do you know? Your parents, children, and siblings. Write them on the list tonight and start over. We're resetting tonight, if you didn't know. Your aunt and uncle, the aunt you went and stayed with when your mom had to go to work, put her on the list. I need you to, let's have a chunk conversation, right? Your friends and their family, put them on the list. And I'm gonna give you guys a trick tonight, right? Your current and past coworkers, they don't like the job either. Put them on the list. Mm -hmm. You did something that they are afraid to do. Guys, let me tell you something. I tell my team this all the time. People buy into you. It is your obligation to lead them the right way. For instance, it is a lot of you right now on this, this business training tonight, and you did not text your team directly or your new agents directly and demanded that they get on this webinar. Think about it. Did you? Or did you just log on? See, it's your obligation to make sure they're on this webinar. If I were you, I'd be texting them right now, say, get in caps, get on this webinar, log in now. It is your obligation. That's why it's that your business is stagnant, right? You pick the guardian to you because the goal is for you to lead them, not watch them continue to be broke. Lead them to the money. We're supposed to be getting paid. Put your social media contacts on the list. There's people in your cell phone, real estate agent. You need to go into your maps and your phone. Your maps like you're trying to get to the closest Starbucks. You need to type in real estate agent and all of the agents that's going to come up that's within your zip code. You need to be in their office tomorrow asking them to do a lunch and learn so you can show them, as Chris Brown would say, how to get their unqualified buyers qualified. Put them on the list. Mortgage brokers, put them on the list. Now, let's be clear. Let's say you put your cousin on the list and she don't see you. You did the tap tap. I need to talk to you. We're going to change your life. She don't see it. You know what you need to ask her? Hey, hey, Megan. Hey, let me ask you a question. What's your mom and dad's number? Get her mom and dad's number. What's your sister and brother's number? Give me their numbers. Okay, great. Hey, what's your best friend? The one you, you went to Cancun with a couple of months ago. Now you're going to dive into her network of people and you're going to call her people because you guys need to have the attitude of it's going to happen anyway. See, when I came into this business and my brother didn't sign up, I called his friends. And my the other brother didn't sign up, I called his friends. Because every day I would put on Facebook, it's going to happen anyway. And when I start asking for their friends' numbers, asking for their ex-girlfriend's numbers, DM everybody that was in their friend group that we were cool with, that used to come over to the house and play with them, because they didn't see it, they saw, oh, she's going to do this without me. And they're in the business. So you guys are going to have to develop an it's going to happen anyway type of attitude. Anyone in your warm market that does not see it and does not partner with you, use the same list, the same memory jogger, and call them and ask them these people's name on the list. You're never going to run out of people because I can assure you, you're going to have some people that's going to tell you no. So you need to write the no's down because we know no means not now. But the minute you call their friends and ask them their friend's name and number and then call them back and say, hey, your best friend from high school is going to get started. Her and her husband is actually going to partner with me as a consultant. I just want to make certain that you do not want to do it. When you develop that attitude that it's going to happen anyway, they're going to take you seriously because that's a I've got to have this done attitude. See, when you launch your business, guys, it's very important that if you need help, you have access to corporate office, right? You have access on how to get in contact with corporate office. You have access to the calls. You have access to your mentors. You are in the actual millionaire mindset chat and whatever chat rooms that your mentors have where they're mentoring you. You want to make certain that you have these things in your phone, the calls that we have. You want to have them programmed in your phone with an alarm. You do not want to set anything on those dates. That is a very important date in business because for the first 21 days, guys, you can do something for 21 days, you can do for the rest of your life. Now you're changing your lifestyle. Make sense? You want to make certain that you stay close to the fire. Exactly what I said this weekend. Now, while you have your promotions out there, you've got your launch, you've got your launch party happening. Now it would be great if you get connected with your business back office. Because see, you're getting ready to have this launch party and we want to make certain that the money go to the right person, right? Your checks got to go to the right person. My first week in the business, I got a check. There hasn't been a week. 
I've been in this business where I have not gotten compensated. And everyone can get compensated. See, there's no glass ceiling on how much we get paid here. You have to position yourself to get paid here. You want to go in your business back office. You want to go ahead and put a professional picture up of yourself. You do not want to put your favorite color, your favorite pet, your boyfriend's favorite car, your favorite car. It needs to be a picture of yourself so that when you're communicating with individuals, you want to make certain that they know it's you. Right? They have to know it's you. They don't need to see pink or purple or Prince or Madonna or your dog. They want to know that this is your business. So you want to put a professional photo up. When it comes to your social media, and then I think Jabari may touch a little bit on that in a few minutes. When it comes to your social media, guys, one of the things that you definitely want to do is turn your page into a business page. Because while you're marketing your business, you want to see who's connected with you. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little secret. Your, your leaders may think differently, but I'm going to tell you what we do. A lot of people always say, listen, well, you got so much engagement on your page, right? I have engagement on my page because I don't have a website on my page. I took my website for FES or anything related to anything of this business off of my page. And let me tell you why. I removed that off of my page because what I learned was the average person today wants a website so that they can do their homework before they communicate with you. I want you guys to understand that the average person communicate with you because they want their credit restored. So if they go on your page and they're comparing your page to creditrepair.com, Lexington Law, and all they see is financial literacy, net worth, understand that they don't understand what they're looking at on the protection plan membership. They want to see scores and numbers and we don't have that. So now you lose by default. But if you remove all of that from your page and they ask you, hey, do you have a website? My response always is, hi, thank you for connecting with me. Are you looking for information to be a client or a consultant? See, that gives me an opportunity to have a conversation because they want a website. And they still don't get a website until I get on the phone with them and I walk them through the protection plan membership so that I can explain to them exactly who we are, what we do, how we do it, and what makes us different from everyone else. So it's very important that I challenge you guys to try this week removing your website from all of your social media platforms, right? So that when they look on your page, they see the results. Quite naturally, they're going to want to know how you come up with that. They're going to ask you questions. Hey, how are you able to do this? What's your website? Hey, what's your name and what are the items affecting your credit scores? Or are you interested in being a client or a consultant? What exactly are you looking for? My name's Alyssa, by the way. Now you have some engagement going on in the conversation. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go over the launch again, guys, one more time. When you get your credentials from corporate office, when your business partners get their credentials from corporate office, as soon as you get the login information from corporate office, immediately you should be promoting what you have. See, CEOs... They promote and market their business. Focus on marketing. Focus on marketing. Focus on marketing. Because if you have a business with no business, you're going to go out of business. If no one's asking you questions about your business, you're going to go out of business. If you're not showing anyone what you have, you're going to go out of business. The only way to stay in business is to show people your business right? Now you're going to expose it. This gives you an opportunity to communicate on why did you even do this? Why are you so passionate about credit? This is when you share your story. This is when you share what you love about the protection plan membership. Now they're going to ask you some questions, guys. This is where you get a response. This is where your mentor come in. I call mentors bulldogs because we know how to get a date. We know how to convert a client into a consultant on your behalf and you get paid for that. So for those of you who are not leveraging your mentors for the get a response, you are cheating yourself by default. Follow the system. And when your mentor get this date from this individual, do not, and they hang up, don't try to do another overview. All you need to do is get a date, tell them you look forward to helping with them and hang up and go to the next person. On that date, you want to enroll them 
Send them a launch flyer to put on their page, tag 50 to 100 people, introduce them to the protection plan membership, walk them through the protection plan membership. They should send you what you love, what they love about the protection plan membership, because when they get on the phone with these people, now they could be the actual expert that's going to lead them to your mentors. So with that being said, guys, I hope that was some very valuable information tonight. I'm really excited about who's getting ready to come up. He's um, one of my top producers in the company. And what's really funny is he watched me for so long. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was very strategic on how I brought him in my organization because I watched his page. I saw he was a family guy. I saw a picture with his boys. I saw a summer side of him. So I knew he was going to do well, but I didn't want to push it because I could have easily met with him and closed him like that, but I didn't do that. I continue to let this individual come to me, ask all of the questions, get the clarity. And in talking to him, he was very impressed that I always had time free. See, every time he called me, I was either in the carpool line, at the gym, somewhere eating. I was just having fun. And he was like, you're in the carpool line. He was at work in the corner. So he was like, I want some of that. And I remember one day after I gave him all the information, 90 days later, he asked me a question that I know I answered. And you know what I told him? I said, you know what? I don't even want you on my team because I've answered all of your questions for the past 90 days. And I can assure you at this point, I'm trying to get the vice president. You're going to distract me. He said, I'm ready to go. Let's go. I'm ready to go. He got started. I met him that next night in my common area. And from that night, that day when he got back home, he said, what's next? I said, I need you to post on social media. And I know you need the income right now. I know it. But I need you to do something. I need you to 89 your way to five feet. He was like, 89? I was, yeah, let's do that right quick. Because what I knew was he already shared his situation with me. Remember when I said this isn't a bill? This is something that's going to eliminate your bills? This isn't a new bill. So my first goal was to do what? Eliminate this bill, help him get promoted, and get his money back. Everything I asked this gentleman to do, he did it with ease, grace, and never questioned it. He just said, okay. Today, he's a regional vice president in the company. Him and his organization move like Amtrak or a Boeing plane. They're fast. They're very coachable. They're friends. They have fun. They enjoy doing this business. They enjoy helping people. He's going to train you something on what he specialized in. And every time he tells the story, I love it. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have done what he did to his friend and in his business. So with that being said, I want to bring Mr. Jabari Sadler to the actual platform. Jabari, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Can you hear me okay, Alyssa? I can hear you loud and clear. I'm going to hand it over to you. Guys, thank you so much for having me tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Man, I am honored to follow up after Alyssa. She just blew up the whole Zoom. My computer don't even work no more. I don't know what I'm going to do. But you guys got to see firsthand exactly how I was trained. Um, and so I hope you guys took some really, really good notes. She is amazing. Like she said, I came into this business. I didn't question her leadership, even though I had a background in engineering and I've done a lot of sales and engineering. This was totally new to me. And I didn't come in acting like I knew anything. I just said, let me start over as a brand new agent and let me just allow you to guide me. So can you guys see my screen okay? Let me know in the chat if you guys can see my screen. <clears throat> Hopefully you can. Okay, good. All right, let me go ahead and start this, the slideshow. So yes, um, what I'm going to be covering for you guys now for the second half of the presentation is something that is very, very important to me, and it's called follow-up, okay? And then in the second half of my presentation, we're going to talk about some of the marketing, especially Instagram marketing. So what we know to be true is that there are pennies in sales and there is a fortune in follow-up. And that came from Mr. Jim Brown. So that is the basis of my presentation today. So we'll talk about follow-up. What types of follow-up are there, right? The first type of follow-up is on the side of a prospect, right? So they haven't gotten started in the, in the business yet, either as a client or as, an, or as a consultant. 
there's still a prospect, right? So with follow-up for these people, what do you want to be doing? You want to be continuing to educate prospects, right? Because credit is one of those things that people don't understand, right? So when you're posting things on your page that talk about education about credit, you know, something like, hey, did you know a uh, one missed payment can drop your score 50 to 100 points, right? Most people don't know that. Hey, did you know that the credit bureaus are not government entities? Most people don't know that, right? So when you're sharing that kind of information on your social media, as well as to your clients, right, this is what's going to allow them to It's all part of you're dealing with a new, uh, a, a new client or a consultant, nurturing those relationships. Like Alyssa mentioned, right? We talked for, I think, three months, if I'm not mistaken, before I actually got started. So she was nurturing relationships. I just didn't know it yet, right? I was so distraught with my financial situation and my credit at the time that I didn't know that there was a, a relationship being nurtured, right? I was I was connecting with her at jobs that I didn't like, you know, and as she mentioned, she was showing me that she was very happy on the other end of the phone. So while I'm, I'm you know, in my cubicle trying to whisper and try to have a conversation about when I want to get started, she's telling me she's picking up her kids from school. And so, of course, for me, I'm thinking like, man, I wish I could be picking up my kids from school right now, right? So that's part of that nurturing relationships, and that's what's that's what allowed me to stay connected to her, right? I saw that there was something different about what she was doing versus what I was doing. We maintained contact, right? We were building a relationship so that I could understand and trust her. Trust is a huge factor in this business, y'all. Your, your page and everything that you use to represent you, it has to be showing some level of trust, right? You're dealing with people's social security numbers. <clears throat> you're dealing with people's date of births, their, their phone numbers, their information. So you don't want to have a lot of ratchet stuff all over your page. You don't want to be sharing a lot of ratchet stuff on your page, right? At, when I started in this business, I stopped sharing a lot of political stuff, right? Because you may offend someone who's maybe a different party right, than what you are. And, and then now you've lost a business partner. So I, I try to just keep everything professional as much as possible because that's going to help you to enroll more clients and enroll more consultants. You want to provide long-term value, right? Like Alyssa mentioned, some of our conversations were talking about my kids, right, and what I wanted for my kids, what I wanted for, for the next generation after me. That's providing long-term value. Now you don't sound like you're just in it for just the sale. Now people want to trust you to partner with. Because remember, some of these clients that are getting started with you, after three months, they're eligible, eligible to become a consultant. So if you're planting the seeds early and you're building that trust factor early, it's a good chance that in three months after their scores have gone up significantly, they're going to be like, hey, I want to do what you do or I want to know more about what you do because now they trust you, right? And you've, you've planted that seed early with them and you're staying on top of, of their mind, right? In the beginning, when you're brand new as a consultant, you may feel like you're spinning your wheels and you're not getting any traction. But what you got to understand is that every seed that you plant is not going to grow at the same time. So you just got to keep going. And that's why we have everyone write down a list of 50 people, right? We don't want people to focus on just five people, right? Because five people is not going to get you uh, your five enrollments, right? Five prospects is not going to get you five enrollments. You need 20, 30, 40, 50 prospects to get those five enrollments. So every seed that you plant, every person that you talk to is not going to enroll right away. And I'm proof of that, right? It took me three months to enroll. So staying on top of your prospect's mind by having a good page, by checking in with them, right? By, by dropping a, a text with them, showing them some results, right? That's how you stay fresh on their mind, showing results on your page, showing your clients, picking up their new cards, getting approved for different things. That's going to stay fresh on their mind. Let's all remember that 80% of sales require five follow-up calls after the meeting. 44% of sales reps give up after the first follow-up, okay? 
So the millions is in the follow-up. It's not in that first contact. Which one do you want to be? 48% of people never know, never follow up with a new prospect. 25% of people make a second contact and then they stop. 12% of people only make three contacts and stop. Only 10% of people make more than three contacts. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. Imagine if Felissa stopped the very first time we spoke and said, Shh, he's not serious. Let me move on to somebody else. She would have lost me, right? 3% are made on the second contact. 5% of, of sales are made on the third contact. 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact. Sales are made from the fifth to the twelfth contact. So if you give up after the first contact, you could be missing out on your next vice president, your next sales director, your next client that could be getting some amazing results you may turn into a consultant, right? So you always want to follow up. 80% of this business, you guys, is posture. So what that means is, because I know we talk about posture a lot. What does that mean when we say it's posture? Posture is something that you know to be true and nobody can change your mind about it, right? Like electricity, right? We all know how electricity works in our homes and our cars, etc. right? Imagine somebody telling you, Jabari, that electricity thing that you're talking about, man, that's a scam, right? You'd be like, okay, enjoy darkness. I'm moving on to people that are serious about having lights on in their home, right? No one could, could convince you that electricity isn't real. You have to be the same way about this business. Remember, this company has been in business 15 years before you got started. If it didn't work, we would have gone out of business in year two, right? It keeps working because the service works. So you have to have that type of posture about both the customer side, the services, and the business opportunity. 80% of it is, is posture, okay? so. Um, your confidence is what's going to transfer to your prospects. Enjoy darkness, right? It's all about your confidence. There's a saying that goes, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So don't worry about what you say or how you say it. It's more about how you say it, right? So you want to have the best posture because they're going to believe you because they've never seen the presentation. They don't know anything about the company. They don't know anything about credit. So Focus on making yourself feel good, right? In the morning, play that hype music, right? Put on some clothes that are gonna make you feel good about yourself when you look in the mirror. When you're talking to a prospect, have that level of confidence because they're gonna believe you from your conviction. They're not really listening so much to the words that you're saying, they're listening to your posture, your tonality, your excitement. That's what they're listening to. That's why we say, the, the deal is going to get closed on the phone, right? You don't want to just think about it as, I'm going to script these people, and they're going to just enroll, and that's it, right? You've got to get them on the phone, and you've got to get them three-way in with your mentor, okay? That is the key. Your mentor is there to help you close the deal. Let me clear this stuff off of the screen here. People are pushing buttons. So like I was saying, sorry about that job. So yeah, so you wanna look good, you wanna feel good, you wanna have the right tonality, and you wanna three-way your mentor to get the questions answered on the phone. Do not try to close deals on your own. As a new consultant, that is the worst thing you can do, right? Because your background is not as a credit consultant yet. Your contacts know you for whatever you've been doing in your in your life already, right? I was an engineer, so there's no way that I could convince someone about their credit because I'm brand new. I didn't know what I was talking about yet. Okay, whoever is drawing on the screen, we need you to stop, please, because it's interrupting the webinar. Okay. So, yes, make sure you get your contact on... The, the, on the line with your mentor. The goal is to sort, not sub, okay? In your quick start playbook, you're gonna see that 20 calls or 20 contacts 
is going to get you 15 exposures, which is going to get you your first five enrollments. And you want to be doing that with your mentor. The goal is to sort, not sell. And there's an abbreviation that's SW, SW, SW. Some will, some won't. So what? Who's next? Right? It's all a mental game. Think of the lady on the plane or the gentleman on the plane who is the flight attendant, right? Their goal is to get through all of the passengers on the plane and ask them, do you want peanuts? Do you want something to drink? Do they get offended when somebody says no? No, they don't. Do they get offended when somebody doesn't want something to drink? No. Their goal is to get through all 256 passengers. They don't care. To, you have to have that same posture as you're going through your calls and sorting through your contacts. Maybe the first, what if I told you that your first 15 calls were all going to be no's and after your 15th call, it's going to be all yeses. How fast would you get through those 15 calls? I bet you you would get through real fast because you're, you're trying to get to the next one. So your posture would change. And so believe it or not, those 15 calls that you are expecting to be no's because you're trying to rush them to, to say no, they actually end up saying yes because it's all in your mindset. So think about that. Say, look, I wanna, I, I'm not gonna stop today. When you wake up in the morning, you wanna tell yourself, listen, I wanna get 15 no's today. I'm not gonna stop until 15 people tell me no, okay? If you do that, you'll get a lot more yeses than you realize. It's all a mental game. Okay, so customer follow, you want to send results. Let me clear this stuff off of the screen again, because uh, people are doing some funny business over here. Okay. There we go. Customer follow, so what does that look like? So meaning you've talked to someone maybe once already, maybe you've scripted them, get with your mentor and get whatever format you guys are using, whether it's a script, whatever that information is, you're gonna use that information to make the initial contact, right? What if they don't get started on that on that same day that you talk to them? Does that mean that the deal is over? No, because we've already discussed that if there's a lot more follow-up that's necessary to get them started. So what, what does follow-up look like? You can send a text where you're sending results, right? Have your clients send you their results when things get deleted, right? Let's say when you talk to this particular prospect, they told you they had a repossession and they had a bankruptcy on their credit reports. Send them pictures to say, hey, I, I know it's been a while since we connected or I know we couldn't connect last week. Here's a repossession that was deleted for one of my clients and here's a bankruptcy that was deleted for one of my clients. These just came in. I'm excited about my client's results and I can't wait to get connected with you again. Write that down, y'all. That's much better than nagging people and saying, are you gonna get your credit started? Are you, gonna, are you ready to get started? Are you signing up today? That's nagging people, right? It's better to kind of put a little piece of food on your fishing line and kind of just, you know, hang it in front of them. Get them drooling about that repossession being removed from their credit report. Send them that. Send them some score increases. Hey, look, this is one of our clients that had a 95-point increase when that repo was, was removed from their credit report. I'm looking forward to getting you started. That type of follow-up is going to get you much farther ahead than nagging them and texting them and, and doing things that's really going to get you blocked, right? We've all been blocked. It's part of the game. But it's much better to come off as a consultant and sound professional when you're doing your follow-up. Did I lose you? If someone leaves you on red, by, by a show of ones in the chat, if you can drop that in the chat, how many people have been left on red in Instagram? Everybody. Right? That's very, very common. A lot of times we assume that because it says red and they didn't respond, that they're not interested. That's not the case, y'all. Remember, they could have been in a grocery store. They could have been at work. They could have been picking up their kids from school, right? We live in a social media time where we're always on our phone. We're always doing a million things at once. We're always multitasking. So just because someone left you on red does not mean they're not interested. Send them a text that says, hey, did I lose you? That's one of my favorite lines that I got from my mentor, Alyssa Barnes. Did I lose you? Because you'll get them to respond right away and they'll say, oh, no, I'm sorry. 
you know, I was putting my kids to bed or uh, my son got sick, you know, that's tell you whatever the issue was. You, hey, I'm ready to get connected again. I'm ready to get started. So did I lose you is a great way to reel them back in. Next one. It's okay to tell me if you change your mind about fixing your credit. I use that a lot. If they're not responding, let's say you had an appointment set up with them and they said, call me at 11 a.m. You called at 11 a.m., they didn't answer. Send them a nice text that says, hey, I'm calling to make sure or I'm calling to confirm that I'm calling you at the right time that, that you asked me to call you at, at the date and time that you asked me to call you at to help you to restore your credit. I look forward to hearing you. Let's say two days go by and you still don't hear from me. That's when you can send a little text like this where you kind of push them off the edge, right? It's, it's much, fear of loss is much better than trying to get something based on gain, right? I know it's ridiculous, but that's just how human nature is and how people's mindset is. So if you kind of scare them into thinking that they're gonna have to keep this bad credit, usually they respond. So I use that one a lot. Hey, it's okay to tell me if you change your mind about fixing your credit. They'll respond. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Jabari. And here comes the excuses. My car blew up. I had a flat tire. You know, whatever. I got to go buy a new engine for my car. My whole family's in the hospital all at the same time. You know, it's all these excuses. It's always a family emergency. So when you say something like that, that's how you wake them back up again and say, you know, look, are you serious about getting your credit fixed? It's, it's about to be 2020, and you need to get started now. You don't need to wait until January to fix your credit. You need to start now. And what I, what I like to tell people, and it's been working a lot, is the credit bureaus are swamped over the holidays, right? Mm. They get something like 3 million letters a day, and it's even more during the holidays. They don't have enough time. They're going to be closed for Thanksgiving. They're going to be at home eating their turkeys, right? This is a great time to get these items removed from your credit. Don't wait until January. You need to be going into January with a credit score increase already. But it takes 30 to 45 days to see your first increase. So get started now. That's how I get people on the line now. Right? If they say, okay, I can do 188 January 1st. No, how about you do 89 today? But you do that on the phone. 89 today instead of 188 in two weeks. That way you get your credit repair started before 2020. That way you're going into January but your credit score is already going up. You gotta speak life into people. You gotta give people a push. You gotta remind people not to slack, right? Because people have a natural tendency to just put things off. Oh, I'll do it next week. Oh, da, 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 da. no, you got to get started now. Okay, so that's a great way to do customer follow-up. Agent follow-up. The best way to get an agent moving is to get them on a trial run. So when I'm talking to an agent prospect and they tell me I want to get started in two weeks or let me talk to my spouse or let me think about it or what da, da, da. whatever they say, I'm numb to it, y'all. I'm like a robot now. I go, okay, it's 288 to get started. They say, all right, um, yeah, let me think about it a little bit and I'll get back to you next week. Okay, great. I really didn't even hear what they said. I say, okay, great. Guess what I'm gonna have you do? And this is what this is what I learned from Bruce Rochester, okay? This is what I'm gonna have you do. We're gonna actually get started today. I'm going to give you something that you're going to share on your Facebook and Instagram. And you'll probably have five or 10 people by Friday that are ready to get started. That way, the day that you're ready to get started, guess what? You've already got clients that are ready to enroll and we get paid through Saturday of every week. So there's a good chance you could be getting your, your money back or you could be getting a, a direct deposit for a few hundred dollars next Thursday, right? You gotta kinda start painting the picture for them that this is not an investment that they're not going to get back. Most people do not understand that everybody has bad credit. I was one of those people. I was ashamed of my bad credit, right? But when Alyssa had me post 
and 10 or 12 of my friends were DMing me or inboxing me, it blew me away. Because I thought these people were the Joneses, right? I thought they had money. I thought they had credit. But they were inboxing me telling me they had a bankruptcy on their credit report and they wanted to buy a house. And it blew me away. So that's when the light bulb went off for me was that, whoa, I'm not the only one with bad credit. Everybody I know has bad credit. So now I'm ready to see this as a business opportunity. When you're first talking to them on the phone, they can't see how big this is. That's just a little credit business to them. They don't know that 70 million Americans have bad credit. They don't know that. Who on this chat went to a bad credit party before FBS? You know about it. There's no such thing. So we don't talk about our friends. But don't try to convince them that this is a big business. Let them see for themselves. Post this. Post this and tag 50 to 100 people. You're going to get a lot of responses. And let's talk later. And get off the phone. I'm always in a hurry. I'm not on the phone to convince anybody. I'm going to give you the rundown. If you, if you don't get started today, immediately I'm going to trial run, right? Because I know when you do the trial run, you're going to be convinced because you're going to see how many people need this. The other thing is invite them to a meeting. Invite them to come see our culture, whether that's online, whether it's on Zoom, or whether it's physically at a meeting in your city. Allow people to understand that there are regular people like us in this business. When you well, get them to a meeting, like, bro, everything's going to make weird. sense for them, and they're going to be inspired by somebody in the room. And that's exactly what you want. You want them to see and hear some testimonies, and that's what's going to push them over the edge. Make sure your page is trustworthy. Remember, social security <laughs> numbers, date of births, people's <laughs> personal information, is going to be involved in this process. So you've got to have a good looking page and send results. You can send re results to agents just the same way. Hey, listen, I cannot believe that my, uh, that one of the vice presidents at our company, Natalia Hall, got a 316 point increase. Look at this. I wanted you to see this, right? When they see that, they're going to be excited. They're going to start asking questions again. Whoa, how does this work again? How much does this cost? What time can you talk? What are you doing tonight at 9 p.m.? Nothing. Okay, I'm going to send you a link to a webinar where you can get more information. Always be short and sweet and brief and to the point. That's what's going to get them going. Follow up after the sale, right? That's the other type of follow up. After they've enrolled, you're going to get a lot of follow up. You're going to get a lot of, I'm sorry, you're going to get a lot of referrals and a lot of other business from your existing base. Ask for referrals. Right? A lot of, like, like Alyssa said, if you get them to do it, to enroll for $89, that's a great time to have them post for you. Hey, listen, I'm going to discount your admission price, but you got to do something for me. What's that? I need you to post my flyer on your page. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll do that. And give them the caption. Tell them to connect with you to get their credit repaired. And what that's going to do is, you're going to get two more customers and enroll them at 188. So the 89 that you lost $100 on, you're going to get two, two 188s from that. Right? And then you're going to, once that new client sees all the, the, the um, interaction on that post, now you've planted a seed for them to be a consultant too. Remember? In three months, they can now become a consultant. So if you have them post and they get a lot of responses and engagement from that post, now they're thinking, man, okay, th this is actually a lucrative business. Maybe I need to be a consultant too, okay? That's going to help with your retention, and you can convert those customers over to agents. Customer satisfaction is huge, right? Make sure that they get launched properly. Make sure that they set up and activate all their services. Make sure they know what to do with their letters when they get them. Make sure they send back their results to the to our corporate office, right? Because when they're getting good results, they're going to refer people to us. Offer other services like the Credit My Rent and the other Protection Plan Plus services. Marketing on Instagram. Convert your page to a business page. Okay, that's one of the first things you want to do because now you can start getting analytics on your post, right? 
Also, that allows you to have quick replies in your DMs. Ask your mentor about quick replies. You can load this script right into Instagram and not have to copy and paste. Promote your page. Get pro professional photos. Show results. Show lifestyle. Show credit education. And show motivation. And make sure you stay in compliance. Right? Don't post credit scores. Don't post results that show delete, delete, delete from credit reports. That's all against compliance. Make sure you check your back office and understand compliance. And then in closing, I just want to remind you guys, this is what got me to the top. Every single Sunday, Alyssa taught us to start over as a brand new agent, strive for five every single week, become a brand new field trainer or more every single week, create duplication in your organization, they're doing, creating a new field trainer every week, celebrate success, and lead from the front. People are gonna do what you do and not what you say, okay? So lead from the front. Um, that's it for me. I'm gonna give it back to Coach Kev. Uh, I believe Keisha Woodbine is on and I wanted her to give a testimony. Um, let me see if, if I can find her. I know her, her signal is a little bit weak. Keisha, can you, can you hear me? Okay, it's not letting me unmute her. Let me, let me, let me try to look for her. Hang on. You said her name, her last name? Woodbine? Woodbine. Okay. Oh, wait, I just did it. Okay. Keisha, you're, you can unmute now. Okay, I don't want to take any more time. She may be not able to unmute. But I wanted to share with you guys that it took me three months to follow up with her. So if I would have given up, then she, I would have had my first vice president in my organization who hit R&R &R Club in eight months. Okay, so the, the fortune is in the follow-up. I cannot stress that enough. You have to follow up with your prospects and that's what's going to get you to the top. So, Coach Kev, back to you, sir. Wow, guys, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have too much to say, man. And um, you know, Jabari just just dropped a lot of jewels. And one of the things that 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 stuck out to me the most from what he said, something that Bruce taught me as well, the trial run. You know, putting someone on the trial run who quote unquote doesn't have the money. It's crazy. Once you allow them to put the post up and you give them the game plan, they turn into David Blaine all of a sudden. Now they got the money, it appears, right? But you got to give them the belief. So once you put, give them the post to put up and they see all this feedback, they got to believe. And some people actually enroll the same day. They don't even wait till Friday. They just move them some things around. Um, and I also, I, I also love what Jabari said as well. He said, um, this is something I saw a lot of, I, I hear a lot of people do. When your mentor is on the phone and they complete the three-way call, don't go behind your mentor to continue to talk. Meaning, they, they, they gave you the sale and you gave it back. Right? So that's, that was critical. Um, um, Alyssa talked about the memory jogger, just trying to remember the people that you connect with on a day-to-day -day basis and then get your emotions out of the way. Don't prejudge. Don't worry about if they're going to do it or they won't. Whoever you think will, won't. Whoever you think won't, will. You just got to go through the numbers. And then lastly, guys, I just want you to really understand um, this is the reset button. This is an opportunity for you guys to be able to reset your business and take your personal and professional life to the next level. I definitely want to thank Miss Alyssa Barnes just for always uh, dropping the jewels and kind of uh, giving you reality, uh, especially when it talks about getting started. There's a lot of things that's out there, guys, but if we just pay close attention to what she talked about by creating that new list, give them, give, giving them that post to put up, and then setting up that PBR. So if you watching this training, guys, and you haven't set up your first PBR, you need to do that this week. 
You need to do that this week. It's vital for you to be able to do that. I also want to thank Rod for giving you guys a phenomenal testimonial uh, today on, on how he actually got a chance to get over to sales director. Basically, he didn't look left. He didn't look right. He just kept moving, and he kept himself coachable. That's the reason why his business is going today. And, of course, uh, Jabari, you know, uh, the, the fortune is definitely in the follow-up, and I think a lot of people procrastinate on that. For what I don't know, uh, but I'm glad Jabari, you you broke that down, and also you help people understand. And I see a lot of people have this challenge; they forget people are watching you, right? Uh, they're watching everything that you do. So when you're in this position where they, they told you no, that's fine. It's never no. It's not right now. You put the post up. This is what I do too. I put the post up. Let's say you announce your new agent. You tag every single person. That you spoken to already. You got a new customer that's success. Post it on your page. Tag every single prospect that you spoke to prior. So they can see that you're moving with or without them. And then trust me. They're going to be able to reach out to you. And then lastly guys. You know as you go into your events. We had a powerful uh, Saturday training. Um, and um, a few of my agents just put post up with the leaders. Guys, you have these leaders in your marketplace. You have Jabari in your marketplace. You have Alyssa in your marketplace. You have Keisha Woodbine in your marketplace. You have Natalia Hall in your walk marketplace. You have uh, uh, Eugene Fanfan. You have Coach Let. You have all these people in your marketplace. Take photos with these leaders. Post them up on your social media. Because let me tell you what people are going to see. They're going to see you going places. And no one wants to get left behind. No one wants to get left behind, but you want to put them in position where you can bring them to the event. They see the vision and you don't have to sell. Guys, if you follow everything that these leaders are telling you to do, we'll be able to meet you at the T.O.P. Remember, guys, success is not for the chosen few, but for the few who choose. Thank you, Mr. Alfred Nixon, for putting this together. We'll meet you guys at the top. Have a good night, guys. Next Monday.